Now, of the missiles used, the Tomahawk cruise missile has been the military's go-to in the United States, the main weapon uh, in airstrikes like the one against Syria. It's been used in uh, cruise missiles, the Tomahawk, for many, many years. And Gary Tuckman got a rare look inside the factory where they're made. The Tomahawk is considered the world's most advanced cruise missile. It's been used in combat more than 2,000 times by the U.S. Navy, from Syria to Sudan to Serbia. And all of the new Tomahawks come out of one factory, this one, in a city and state we've been asked not to reveal for security reasons. The 20-foot-long Tomahawks are manufactured by the Raytheon Company. Kim Ernson is one of Raytheon's top missile executives. And this is the final configuration before it goes out the door to our customer. In this facility is where we do the integration of the rocket motors and the warheads, what we call the energetics elements of the missiles. Um, other components and sub-assemblies come from our other factories located here. And then we do the final assembly here, test it, fuel it, and get it ready to go out the door. How soon will these be going out the door? Uh, in the next couple of days. In this factory, 14 Tomahawks are about to be shipped out. Workers here are performing what they call a roll test to make sure there is nothing loose inside the missile and that everything is connected properly. Historically, Raytheon's contract with the Navy is for at least 196 missiles each year. Tomahawk can fly 1,000 plus uh, miles. Um, so it can get launched from a ship or a submarine. Um, it can go up and loiter, as we call it, where it can fly around in a um, figure eight. So in other um, words, once it's sent off, if you want to change where it's going, it absolutely. loiters, it just goes in a circle and you it figure does. out where. It and can be redirected um, and rerouted to a specific target. The Tomahawk has been around since the 1980s, but this is the newest version of the missile, manufactured since 2004. It can be used for up to 30 years. The Tomahawks that haven't been used come back after 15 years for recertification and upgrades. So this is the um, rocket motor that launches it out of the vertical launch system. So it is what propels it out. Um, so when you see the footage of an, a missile coming out of a ship, um, it is the plane that gets it out of that vertical launch. As you move more up toward the front is the navigation, communication system, and then ultimately up here at the very end is the warhead, and it is a thousand pound warhead. With their GPS guidance, the Tomahawks can strike within mere feet of a target. They are launched from ships or submarines. If it comes from a submarine, it will then swim through the water. The rocket motor will take it up out of the water and then we'll eventually get it up into um, the airplane mode, which is where it will fly and perform its mission from there. So it swims and it flies. Swims and it flies. The price tag per missile? About $1.1 million. Each Tomahawk weighs about 3,500 pounds. So when 66 of them were fired towards Syria, that was about 231,000 pounds of firepower. People who work here tell us this isn't just a job. It is an honor to be able to work for the men and women in uniform and to be able to supply them with a competitive advantage when they're put in harm's way. And that's what we do. We make sure that they have an unfair advantage out in um, theater. So that's what you said, that this gives the U.S. military an unfair advantage. Absolutely. And we want to keep it that way. Gary